in a quiet workshop in Taipei. This dressmaker weaves the fabric of tradition. Even though the classic chipao isn't as popular as it used to be, he wants to make sure the yarn continues spinning for years to come. I am in my 70s now, and I teach my pupils as much as I can, and hopefully they can strike out on their own in the future. Lin is among a handful of craftsmen in Taiwan still left who specialize in handmaking the figure-hugging dress that was popular only a generation ago. But these days, it's mostly worn only for formal occasions. Lin worries the dress may disappear forever and has been taking on apprentices to pass down his knowledge. The chipao is so beautiful. I hope to learn and pass on the traditional craft in Taiwan. Fans of the garment have formed their own club, organizing outings to workshops. As I get older, it's a pity that not as many women are wearing them now. I'm very nostalgic of the chipao and feel that it best represents the elegance and beauty of ethnic Chinese women. But all is not lost. A new generation of tailors is emerging, recognizing that there is still a fan base. Li Wai Fan studied and worked for five years with a master before opening his own shop. With the Asian market on the rise, those of us who have a rarer craft will be more competitive. With more and more tailors like Li popping up in Taiwan, they're trying to ensure that Chipao can be enjoyed for generations to come. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World.